Hola divas, it's Kanifa the Diva, the original YouTube video vixen. No. Um, well, yeah. Oh, and hopefully to be soon fresh face of eyeslipsface.com um, cosmetics. If you guys keep voting for me, I need you to vote as much as possible. You can vote once a day. I will put the link in the description box. Yeah, I think it's that way. Um, I'll put the link in the description box, whichever way that is. And um, please just go to the link. All you have to click is vote for me and you're done. So as often as possible. Um, right now I was ranked 200 and something. So I'm like way back there, you guys, you know. I need, I need some votes, okay? So um, anyway, today I'm doing a haul, as most people call them here on YouTube. I call them bought me some happy because I do agree that money can't buy happiness. Well, it can't buy full-time happiness. It can buy temporary, temporary happiness because these make me happy temporarily probably tomorrow or in an hour or so I want something else or want to do something else but for now I'm really happy about what I got so oh please don't that sounds so superficial I'm really not that superficial but I'll be honest with you I am a shopaholic anyway okay so I did a haul or bought me some happy sometimes you guys see it on my channel it says bsmh that means bought me some happies in case those of you that are new to my channel and don't know what that meant but guess what I got in the mail Elf, yep. Oh, dude, I hope I didn't show my address. Yeah, I don't think you can read it anyway. If not, I'll just put a lock over it. But I got an elf haul. It comes in like this little, it looks like a little shopping bag. Isn't that cute? Okay, and they stick all your products in here. And so let's just go over the products I got. So I got a bunch of products because um, I wouldn't try more stuff by them. Uh, so far I mostly only have lip products, so I got a bunch of different things. This is their all over cover stick in toffee. Okay. Um, one thing about like a lot of makeups, they always brag about how, um, the reason why they can charge more is because you get a lot of product in there and you won't use it as quick. Well, let's be realistic. You don't use most of your makeup too quick anyway. Um, especially if you're like me and you have a whole lot of different colors and stuff. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna fit all this right now. But anyway, I got the all over cover stick. Okay. Um, this I probably will use more of. It's because this is a little smaller. But you know what? For me to get a try, and let's be honest, okay? How much do you think I spent for this? Just guess. Go ahead and guess real quick. I only spent a dollar. Ha 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 ha. I can buy 10 freaking things of these. And I really don't need to. <laughs> but that's great. So I'm loving that. Got that for a dollar um so i bought some more i know you guys probably seen me use my elf bronzing powder if you haven't um i do have a challenge for myself where i try to copy half my face was done with mac um at the counter and half my face wasn't and i copied it and i did use this bronzer um in place of their uh finishing powder mineralized finishing powder I used that. This is the Warm Glow Bronzer. One dollar. <laughs> then I got their Elf Natural Radiance Blusher. Um, this, what color is this? I got a couple of the colors. This one's Glow, which um, I think this is really cool because one of the main things I liked about on their YouTube channel. Dang, I got a hair right here that just won't sit still. Anyway, on their YouTube channel, they were talking about how their makeup is very universal. You can use it on both um, very pale, fair-skinned women, as well as very dark African-American women. Um, so I like that for the different tones. And one thing I like about colors like this with glow, I could put this on a pale friend and it will brighten their face as well as I can put it on me and brighten my face as well. And I've also heard that for African-American women, a really pretty type of blush color is, um, some orange tones in it. So I wanted to try that. You know, stuff when you want to try stuff, especially why spend a bunch of money when you don't even know if you're going to like it yet. And I'm looking at this already in a little case, and I think I'm going to like that. And I have a few other blushes, so I don't have to buy a whole big thing of one. So I'm loving that. So then um, I also got their All Over Color Stick, also a dollar. The All Over Color Stick, it can go on your lips, it can go on your eyes, it can go on your cheeks as a blusher, it can go wherever you want it to go. I got my color in um, Pink Lemonade. And it says right here, instantly brightens, light reflecting, fresh and natural color, may be used on face, eyes, and lips. So that's cool. 
can't wait to try it. Oh, my other blush I got, I got more of a rose, um, deeper rose color. Because I want to, um, in my blush, you saw my CoverGirl 3-pack. I kind of like it better, um, the darker color than the others. That one pink, it's just too bright a pink to me. So, um, I want to try more of a rose color kind of in between. And then I have this color that will give me kind of that orangish tint without giving me that overly pinky look that makes me actually look ashy in my face. So, I'm really excited about that. This, I wasn't too sure about buying this at first. This is the Shielding Hydra Tint. Um, I ended up buying this because I saw on there um, that you can actually use this as a primer. I was reading um, on their w website, and I also like that it's skin protectant. I actually just bought a uh, primer by Smashbox, the Smashbox, um, what's it called? Photo Finish Primer, I think it was called. And I was mad because I didn't realize till after it came in, I ordered it online. I didn't realize till after it came in that it's not even SPF 15, and at least this is. And this can also be used as a primer. I bought mine in Toffee, but they have different colors. So I'm going to be trying that out soon. It says right here, hydrates, illuminates, and sun protection. And actually on the website, when like I like that they give you a lot of ideas which you can use things for. You can use this alone as like a foundation or as a primer for your actual foundation. You know, and it has a little tint to it. So I like that. And especially since I use um, Proactive right now for my skin regimen. Um, and they say in Proactive that it will make your skin sensitive to the sunlight. So I have to have something SPF 15 on my face, which also their bronzing powder is too. Um, which was also why I started using their bronzing powder. Um, especially since it was only a dollar. I said I could try it. I saw it at um, Big Lots. For those of you who don't shop online, Big Lots. Check out Big Lots. And also, like... I think I'm going to try this maybe as a concealer instead of spending a whole bunch of money on them. I'll try it and I'll give you guys a review later on. But right now I'm just telling you what I bought. No opinions on it too much. Giving you a little info what you might like to buy. Um, Here, this is the Hyper Shine Gloss. I believe this one's Flirt, right? Yep, that's my girl, Flirt. I actually bought a second one of these because it came, I got one before in my 8-pack. And as you can see, I've had this for, um, I wear this damn near every day I got this um how many months ago I think back in June June July I'm not sure but you see it's not even done yet I heard somebody did some review comparing elf um hyper shine lip glosses to Stila's similar lip glosses they have and they were saying oh but Stila comes with more but I only spent a dollar on this and I love these lip glosses my lips are always chapped but when I put these on they're great and it's like um it dries and say so your lips get a little dry, just go like this, just real quick. And I'm so serious, it just shines right back up. I love it. Right now I have on Flirt. But I love Flirt, so I bought a second one of that. <coughs> I also bought, I think this is, yeah, Vixen. Because I'm a YouTube video Vixen, what? But um, this is a little more reddish tint, whereas this one has a little bit of an orangish tint. I don't know, can you guys see that right there? But um, also I like the names. Flirt and Vixen. I mean, that's so me. Um, so if you can't pick out a color, you know, go what kind of names you like, you know. I don't know. But I love, love, love those. Then I got this one, Joy, because um, I was wearing it one day and I had it in my um, my little, where is it? Oh, I don't have it sitting with me. But you know how we all have like a little makeup tote that we take with us everywhere? Like I call it my survival makeup kit. And uh, that day I had this gloss in there. This is Joy. And um, my cousin wanted it. She loved it so much on me. She was like, I got to have that. And she couldn't believe because she spends a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. She goes nowhere else but MAC. Nowhere else. It's got to be MAC. And um, she could not believe that I only paid a dollar for it. I was like, you can have it. I'm about to order some stuff anyway. So I let her use that. Um, another thing. Okay, even though I said, like, I might try this as a concealer. Um, this can also be, I'm sorry, so you know what this is. This is the all-over cover stick. I got toffee for my skin tone. But um, I might try this to see how it works as a concealer or just as a foundation on its own as well as maybe a primer or whatever. I'm going to play around with it and see how I like it. But anyway, just because it was only a dollar more, <laughs> I went ahead and got their uh, concealer. It's called Tone Correcting Concealer. It says it hides complexion imperfections, evens out skin tone, natural look, natural looking, silky smooth coverage and a lot of these are saying hypoallergenic so those of you who tend to be allergic to makeup 
I've yet to have any problem with these. Um, and I'm someone who, that's why you guys see me use a lot of mineral makeup. Um, because I, in the past, have broke out tremendously from just the smallest amount of makeup being on my face for, I remember I had Mary Kay one time and um, I broke out so bad in a matter of two hours, my entire face went from perfectly clear to just bumps all over my face. You guys ever watch Angel the first season? I don't know if you guys remember Doyle. That was my face. Not green, but red and bumpy. Okay, so then the last two I got, I know you guys are going to go, does she really need any more brushes? <laughs> you guys know I love my brushes. But um, I kind of wanted to give e.l.f. a try. I've kind of heard from some people, oh, I love e.l.f. brushes, and I heard from other people, no, you got to get MAC, and or you got to get high-end. And I was kind of curious, except for a dollar, it doesn't hurt to try it, because sometimes, like, the people I've seen, they don't really even own anything else but high-end, um, and don't really seem to want to give anything else a try. So I said, I'll give it a try. It's a dollar, you know, what's the worst going to happen? I don't like it, and I give it to my little cousins, you know? So, um which I have done with a lot of my makeup before, just trying to clear out my box, because my box is so full now, you guys. I'm going to have to buy a whole new tote, and I really don't want to do that. But, um... Ooh, I honestly... Ooh, these feel kind of good. I didn't expect them to feel that good. But, um, I didn't expect them to be this full, either. From only be a dollar. That's not half bad. But this is, um, the eye eyeshadow brush kind of like a large large flat brush kind of reminds me of the um i think it was 239 by mac um and then this is just the blending eyeshadow brush i bought this just to blend my makeup um because i thought it would be like in the picture it looks really um not so full like it doesn't look very dense whereas this brush is actually it has a good density i don't know if you can really tell in this camera though but it's thicker than I thought it would be. Like, I could actually just color my eyes with this. But if you have sensitive eyes, these seem pretty soft. And I'll give you a review probably on these as well as my other e.l.f. products later on. Um, yeah, I'm so excited about my little setup here. And, like, yeah, if you guys have um, younger siblings or you're starting your makeup, I think e.l.f. is a really good way to go just looking at what I was able to buy with my money. Um... I'll give you guys a review on what I actually liked about the products later on, but for now I'm just showing you what I got. But I like to use products for um, maybe a week or two before I'm going to do reviews because um, in the past I've done reviews and stuff and then kind of felt different later on and then I have to say it in another video, but maybe you didn't check out that second video and you only saw the first one, you know what I mean? So um, definitely be doing a review on these later on and if I haven't put it up, in about a week or two go ahead and email me and say hey Kenny when are you gonna get up the uh, elf reviews but it's icelipsface.com and also please 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 I'll have the link in the description box saying um, all you have to do is just go in there and vote for me I want to be the new fresh face of elf cosmetic and I'm so excited about my new little makeup and I really really hope I can be the new face that would be just fabulous you guys you know I've always been like when I was a kid I used to try and do modeling and stuff I'm 5'9 I've been 5'9 since I was probably about 15 um I reached 5'7 by 12 so I've always been tall is my point and um I used to always try I tried to use my height to get into modeling to get into sports whatever and it just never really worked out. <laughs> but what I like about Elf is it's about the everyday woman. Women of different ages, different ethnicities, different styles, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just in their advertisements, I like that I can find looks. Um, they actually have, like, a little area where you can say get the look. And you want to try a different look. You can find fierce looks. You can find more low-key, everyday looks, you know. And I really like that. They seem like a pretty cool package. So... I'm hoping I really like these products, and I'll let you guys know how I feel about them, as well as uh, keep voting for me, because I'm really excited. I want to, I think it would be more realistic, because it's more for the everyday woman, not just if you look like Holly Berry, or mostly Drew Barrymore or something, you know, you see all those cover girl things. 
But, um, yeah. Give me a shout out. Please keep voting for me. Vote for me whenever you think of it. The link's going to be in the description box. Vote for me every day. Please, 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 please. Okay? And I will check you guys some other time. Love you, divas. Let me give you guys your kiss goodbye. Mwah. And I'll catch you next time here on my channel, Kenitha, where you meet Kenitha the Diva. See you guys later. Bye-bye.